Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Art of Awesomeness podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Kaswani, accompanied today by our also host, Christian Cato. Welcome, Christian. Hello. Um, we are running off one mic today. We'll explain a little bit about that later. But first, of course, we have the national days. So those national days are going to be happy are. gingerbread cookie day. Yes. Happy. So, I mean, those are pretty cool. Gingerbread happy national. Cookie. What Ooh, is make it? cookie. Gingerbread. Stuffing day. Okay. So stuffing. Stuffing. You know, food, um, stuffing. Turkey, the stuffing that you put inside the stuffing, Basically everything that, that you stuff, stuffs that stuffing, stuff yeah. the stuffing. Uh, and then also na- Happy National Red Mitten Red Day, Mitten which is Day. basically just Canadian athletics, I think. So Yes, wear your red gloves and support Canadian athletes, but you don't have to worry about that if you are American. So, so yeah, I mean, blue, if you are American and you like that stuff, then it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. You're so good. let's do that. Those are the only it's three so national days. It's so weird talking like this way. <laughs> Yeah, but it means like basically, it feels very, it feels very intimate. Yeah, like we're actually okay. talking. Well, let's take that easy. Um, yeah. basically, this is the 59th episode, guys. Uh, we only have one mic because yes, we, we were having trouble setting up for the two mic thing this yes. episode. So there's yes, actually yes. another mic right over yes, there, yes, but we just yes. can't use it. So we're using this one. Yes, it's getting late. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to do, so. We're gonna make this one quick for you guys. We don't really have too much to talk about today. We have but a lot we to do talk have about. about what well, no we have uh <laughs> the big thing pretty cool thing to talk about today we did gosh dang it basically what? uh Ow. what's happening do you have the we're having a really difficult time here basically no, having... what's happening is we just got back from a day trip excursion yeah. i took this guy hiking to mission peak today mission peak. Uh, we posted it on our instagram so if you guys follow us there you can see yep. uh the pictures that we took there it's pretty funny christian uh, had some interesting captions so if you're yes. interested in what those captions are we go got check hi that out. baby and yeah anyways right we had a pretty awesome hike so basically this episode is just going to be us awkwardly talking around one mic describing our trip um, I've done this hike before. This is my second time summiting Mission Peak, so I just kind of wanted to get to your Adrian. thoughts on how you thought that the hike was. We're going to talk about some memorable moments, and yeah, that's basically it. So okay. welcome Let's to the 59th episode, and Thank let's you. hop on in. All right, so hiking. hiking. What is it? <laughs> let's, let's go to hike. the dictionary. Let's hike the definition of what it means to hike. So basically, uh, it was a trip where my, my dad and I and Christian drove from where we live here to Fremont, California. And if you do, any of those of you who know we Fremont, California, you know what's up. Uh, that's where I grew up. I grew up there for the first 10 years of my life. So it was pretty cool going back for We didn't really get to see much, mm-hmm. but it was kind of just cool to be back in that vibe. And I summited Mission Peak with my dad um, when I was 16 years old. Um, yes. I'm 18 now, almost 19. When I was 16 years old, I hiked that peak with my dad, and we had a great time doing it. It was a nice little workout, and it, we had nice views. So overall, it was a good trip, and I wanted to go on a trip similar to that again. I thought of summiting Mount Diablo, um, for example. Um, but before I did that, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a warm up hike. So I thought Mission Peak would be a good one. I've already hiked it. It's a good workout, has good views, so on and so forth. And I thought, why not invite one of my good friends, my best friend, in fact, Christian Cato, along for the ride. And so he agreed. Let's do and it. this is basically what happened. And we we picked you up. You have to start from the beginning. We drove there. Christian, um, let's see. When uh, we, when we s- telling you right. Yeah, okay, well, hold on. Well, the drive there isn't important. Basically, when we got there, what I remember is that Christian basically, it, it, it's an easy start. The first thing you kind of told me is that I love hiking. I do love hiking. I still love hiking. Yeah, and but uh, as we got closer to the top, you know, that no, sentiment. No, it was only the last part, and it was it was scary, so I had reason to. And right. I never actually struggled with the last part. I was just hungry, and I fixed that. Okay, well, you're eating the whole way up, basically. No, the last part I was eating. The last part. Okay. The last part. You're not even telling me. Listen. The, you tell really the first half. Story. Okay, so the first half is the boring part, so that's why he gave me it. Basically, the first part of the hike was... Uh, a slow incline with a few rest points like benches and stuff like that anyone who's ever climbed mission peak knows that at the beginning you're going uphill but it's not really that crazy difficult it only really gets a bit steeper at the end and we you know took a few stops to kind of observe the scenery and stuff like that cracked a few jokes and things were going pretty well 
They were and going well. The whole time it went well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then, and then, Christian introduced this, um, this concept. This concept of just waiting. And it was an interesting concept. <laughs> no, um, that only came because you were getting impatient. Not impatient, but let's let's just put it this way. This is something that I've observed, right? Because, and I want to make sure I tell this right. So basically, Christian and I, when we did track together, we were all running. And so I was like, dang, Christian's a fast dude. Christian would usually beat me in in, uh, events and stuff like that. I was like, this this guy can run. He's fast. Yeah, I am. Ask him to walk, and it's different. No, um, you're not telling it right. He's going at at a... We, no, you're face. you're skipping you're skipping all the way to the end. You're not even telling it right. Yeah, but you're telling like, it wrong. Even at the beginning, the pictures though, are wrong. Even and at the beginning, the storytelling is off. Yeah, peak. I don't, I don't think. Let so. me tell you what really happened. We're going up, and it's fine. Having a good time. Literally, it's nice. It's it's nice. Like we get to see it is yeah. the view. There's a few wines. You know, we kind of take some pictures here and there. It's fine. It's a steady incline. You're not missing much. It's a hike on a mountain. You go yeah. up. <laughs> And it's like a little dirt trail and that rocks and you're fine. Yeah. You're skipping all the way to the end. This is where it gets good is that we're, we get to this point where it starts to get a bit more green. It's more green, more green. And then we start to see cows. Yeah. The cows are there and the cows are, you know, they're walking around like, oh, there's cows. And there's a point where it's kind of after you go up, you go up, you slowly go up like me, like up, like up. You're up. like zigzagging. And then there's like this like little trough, like this little... Like this little slow, like low, in like lower, like a dip, dip basically. And there's a cow there, but also on this little plane, you could see the cow, and you look to your left, and you see a road that makes a U-turn to go further up the hill. But just beyond that, you see the uh, the peak, the top of the mountain. Yeah. And we're really bad at telling stories. No, okay, backtrack. So we're at the beginning again, and we see the top of the mountain, and we're like, dang. <sighs> That's tall, and we're gonna be there. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, let's go. That's it. The rest of the hike is just walking. Just. You know when, I mean? when would you say like it got kind of ridiculous? No. Well, it, it never got ridiculous. I think. Well, like being, where we were just kind of like talking stuff to one another, like. Like what? We were doing that. Like clowning on one another, you know. We were. Yeah, like the literally the whole time. Like <laughs> I know definitely from the point where we got up down. Yeah, but there was a little bit before that. We when Christian was just busting out so many snacks, dude. Yeah, so okay, many. Okay, so he, this a- man had a buffet <laughs> in his backpack. I only brought I brought five uh, protein bars and a bag of sun chips, uh, oh, and and two water bottles in my water flavoring and my my towel that I used on Splash Mountain. Uh, that towel. You know what? You brought out that towel like twice. What was that for? That was it was my napkin and from my sweat guard. Your sweat, okay. And I also brought I also brought some my phone and my shades and my jacket. So there's this point where you are going up and it starts to get a little more of an incline. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm fine. We're going up. We're steady. We're we're good. Like we're chilling. Yeah. Why does hiking have to go up? (laughs) That's what I said. That's there's a point where there's times where I was like. Okay, wow, it's like really upping up in here, and then like, why does it only have to go up? Like, why yeah. can't there be more like dips well, and stuff? It's a mountain, right? Yeah, so, but like, it, it was not, it was not compromising any enough. of the dips. So, um, I mean, not bad, but I mean, why? <laughs> so, there's a point where Damn. there's more people. We can see them coming down. Right. Uh, we're getting really high now. We're on this place. It's a beautiful area where it's like a. At this point, there's like these little other roads that go somewhere else. It's like green fields. You though. can see a lot of the hills and stuff. The hills like where you live. And that stuff. overlook. And at this point, even beyond this point, you, maybe um, maybe uh, maybe a few minutes, maybe like twenty or half an hour, even before we got to this point where we're kind of almost halfway between. No, we're at this point. We're halfway between um, the bottom and the top. A little bit more than halfway. Three fourths. I would say we were we were clo- we were nearing three the top. fourths. We were three four. Force the way there. Seventy five percent. Yes, yeah, seventy five percent of the way there, and we're there. We're overlooking this nice, beautiful area. As you go up higher, you only see more of a beautiful view. It's yeah. nice. It's pretty, and it gets more a bit more quiet, which I'll allude to later. But yeah, we were there, and that's another thing. Like there was like, you know, first I was first, you know, it was a bit of an incline. And I was looking, and I was like, okay, here's the mountain. 
there's the top of the mountain. I can't believe that we're almost here. But also, it's like it, I thought we would be there already. So I I start to get hungry and I have a lot of snacks. I offered Adrian if he wanted one. Yeah. He didn't want any. And I'm not about to let them go to waste, so I just start busting out my granola bars, yeah, or my uh, my protein bars, and um, I just start eating them. I like just start eating one them. after the other. One, like, right after I finished one, I put it back in my bag and I pull out the other one, yeah. and unwrap it. And you and did like was, five times, dude. Yeah, in a row. I ate all of them in a row, because you were supposed to help me, but you didn't have. Any. No, I had some. Oh, and before I had that, I had a little bit of my sun chips on the way. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And keep in mind, the, it wasn't a full bag of sun chips. I've already had some before. It was like this. It was a bag of sun chips, but there wasn't all of, like beforehand. I ate probably ate half of it before going on the oh, trip. Okay, got before it. Before going on the trip. All right. And so, I'm eating. I ate some earlier, but then, you know, I, any resume. I'm eating these granola bars, and we pass by these cows. They're like three feet away from us. Everyone's looking at them. You know, they're coming down. Some people are coming down. Some people are looking at them. He's like, there's like little baby cows. There's big cows and they're eating and they're so close to us. Like literally like five feet away from us on the other side of the dirt path. They're mm-hmm. eating the grass. They're eating the grass. It's like, mmm, mmm. And then, you know, it's like, yeah, and like, oh my ass is like, yeah. Blah, blah. And then you're like, okay, cows are eating. I wanted to look at them. So I looked at them. I wanted to eat them. And then we got to a point where we finally saw we kind of went around the mountain you kind of go like to the back of it the back side of it and it's dark and it's cold and windy and you look up and there's it's not a, it's it's an in, it's a big incline it's an incline yeah, yeah. it's not yeah it's it's a big incline but it's here's a peak it's dangerous know. it's very okay so you go up oh yeah i uh you go up hang on hang on wait you have to wait no i just have to say <laughs> i have um, to wait yeah i to Christian, he only found this out after, but when we actually Yeah, he went, took me the hard way. I took him the hard way <laughs> up the know. mountain and um <laughs> and basically the the way that I took him was Dangerous. from the back of the mountain. Really not good. It's basically uh <laughs> felt unsafe it's, and it was cold. He felt very unsafe for there some was reason. No heat. No. And basically I you walk many times. You walk up this kind of ledge that is it's not a it's not a clear drop off to where it's vertical. It's a clear drop off. It's it's slanted. A it's bit. a very it's nearly vertical. This is more <laughs> vertical than Splash Mountain or a, the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> and basically, I took him up this way where basically you have it's not really a, too clear of a path. You're basically just kind of climbing up. You're rocks. climbing rocks. That you're not. T- no, no, no. They got the wrong picture. Of this. What's the right picture? So you're going up, and there's no... It's it's all chunky rock, that's, and it's all chunky. Right. That's but what here's the thing. Are. I'm still eating my, my granola bars, and by, by this time, I've finished it. Right. I've finished my bars, put the trash in the bag, drink some of my fruit punch water, and I go up. I go up, go up, go up. And then there's two ways. I notice one was sunny, and it's nice, and there's like a little fence there, and that's nice. And Adrian's going up this... This way, I don't know. He's going up this other way. People are yeah. going up it too, but as you go up, the rocks start getting a little bit bigger and bigger, and there are a few pebbles like neatly it's a, it's scattered a little sketch. out. It's a little sketch. But when you go up the side, there's this side of it where you're like you're just it's only like a foot wide. Yeah. Between you and this big, this very 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 deep, what's is shallow deeper? Shallow. Shallow. It's in. Shallow is like, you know, not very deep. Shallow's okay, like then what's the opposite of shallow? Deep. Okay, there's this very, very massive, colossal cliff. <laughs> and people are just walking up and down it like it's nothing. That's, this is very dangerous. It is dangerous. nothing. It's not dangerous. No, it is, da- it is dangerous. No. It was only a foot wide, and people were going up and down it, and you had to climb these rocks. It was super windy. The wind was going everywhere. And it's like... And like I know people, and there's the other thing. There's people carrying babies on their backpack and carrying dogs. I saw someone walking like two chihuahuas. Like, why would you? Why would you? My dog can't even go across the street without having like a heart attack. And so you want to take him up like the this Mount Everest over here. That's a different thing. You're yeah. going up, and it's all windy, and it's crazy, and people are climbing and climbing and climbing. And this guy's already up ahead, and I'm trying to. Or you, you stuck with me a little bit. You. Were, I tried to stick with you on the way up. You were helping me out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but well, it's dangerous. What, what I did basically at the beginning was there was that drop off kind of thing. It wasn't as crazy as Christian's saying, but it was it was, it was a drop off. 
It was a drop. There was no fence. There was no protection. Anybody could have fallen off, and you you would roll down very, 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 very far. But basically what I did is I walked basically on the side of the drop-off, so he was on the side of the mountain kind of for the first part, and then I ditched him. I just kept going You left. Um, You left. Which was nice. Um, You know, It's dangerous. But I wanted you to have the experience of actually like feeling like you You climbed to the top. But I don't want to because climb to the, the top. I want to hike to the top. Right. If I like, wanted to climb a mountain, I would climb a mountain. If I want to hike a mountain, I would go up and hike yeah, a mountain. But now you did. I don't want to climb a mountain, though. Well, I want to hike a mountain. Hey, listen. It is what it is. I don't like that. <laughs> but at least on the way down, you had the courtesy of going down the easy way. Yeah, but you kept... Okay, you're, you're rushing the story. You're rushing the story. Bro, the story's pretty short. I'm not going to lie. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. What's... Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Ugh. Okay, so you're... Go- <laughs> okay, so we go up. Yeah. Forget that. Imagine just amplify the climbing and you climb, climb, and it's windy and you're scared you're going to fall because right behind you is like a cliff. Yeah. Maybe like a foot and then a cliff, but even in the foot, it's like a bunch of slippery rocks and big rocks and you're going to climb it. And these people have sticks and these kids are walking past you like, like what are they doing? What are they doing? You know? So you get up sure. and we're finally there. We're going up and we there's more hiking and, and there's... And there's is more of the cliff. It's just right there, which is it's dangerous again because there's no. If you fall, you die. You die. You die. You are not on this earth anymore. I you mean, are, but you are not. You might. On this you earth. might get some broken bones. You die. <laughs> uh, you I mean, if you're a baby, yeah. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you get to the top. Yeah, the top was fine. Okay, you were fine. You tell top. me about the top. You tell. I'll tell about the way down. Okay, sounds good. So the top was good because, you know, Christian basically sat down, ate his bag of chips. Yes. He literally uh, got on a rock, like the highest point. I kind of showed him where the highest point of the peak was. We have pictures, too. And he just chowed down on a bag of chips, uh, put up, threw on a hoodie because I guess it was getting kind of cold up there or something. But, yeah, the top was, it's, it's a really nice kind of view of Fremont and the Bay Area kind of a thing. Um and you can see like some skitty, yeah. You can see some uh, city skylines like way off in the distance, and then the other way you have a bunch of different green hills, and it's it's just really nice. You know, you kind of get a three sixty view of it's at least really where nice. we it's live. Pretty. You know, it's really pretty. It's yeah. always pretty. And there's a lot of people there, and they're taking pictures and stuff like that. And so it, once you're at the top. And the interesting thing is, you know, Christian was complaining about the wind on the way up. Yes. When you're at the top, it's dead silent. It's almost silent. No wind. With it all those silent. people no up there, wind. it was silent. There was no wind. It was just complete. It sounded almost like you were kind of in a sound room, you know, where it's like, yeah, it's all quiet. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Yeah. I've never not heard that before. Which was weird because there was a bunch of people there. Yeah. But yeah, that was, the the top was definitely the highlight uh, hey, for like me, top. I think. Top but, was the best. Yeah, yeah. But we'll get back to the way down after this quick intermission. So, Christian will tell that. And we are back from the intermission. Christian's struggling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So basically, top was fine. Way down, though. No, no, no. Keep talking about the top. All right. I'll, I'll keep talking about the top then. Top was nice. Uh, I took some pictures of Christian. Um, and basically, it's just a, for any of those of you who are planning their high commission peak, it kind of depends on what day you go on, I think. But the day we went, it was a pretty busy day. And there were quite a few people. I think so. Yeah. And so there was, at least at the top, I know, there was quite a few people. Um, I don't think there were that many when my dad and I hiked it. Hmm. But um, so just expect maybe some some crowding up there. Nothing too, like, crazy. But um, You don't have to pay for admission. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a free hike. It's all good in in that sense. But, um, and also the pole that they have up there that marks the summit isn't even the tallest point. I don't even think like the rocks that we went to were yeah, actually higher than that. Yeah, but that has that overlooks more. Does it though? Yeah, because it's on the very edge. The other one is like in the middle between that and another point that's low. Maybe, but but I mean, if you want the highest, then go to the one where 
we took our pictures on. We didn't even take a picture with the pole. No. Yeah, I, I, I think I have one picture of the pole like the last yeah. time, but I was like, this isn't even the highest point. You know, I'm trying to yeah. get to like the peak, so I, yeah. I just I went for the, the other place. But we saw a few uh, birds that were in midair that looked like I they just, were from Star Wars. Yeah. And um, it's, it's yeah, so. that, that's basically everything that happened at the top. It was a, we basically just looked out and like enjoyed the scenery, down, basically. Ate, um, took pictures. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that, that was basically it. The way down began very, very slowly. And this is kind of the theme, the way down, is that it happened very, very slowly. No, no. Um, so Are you going to right this time? Sure. I started heading down the hard way, like the way that we came up. You wanted to jog? I wanted to jog the way down the mountain. I thought that would be easier, quicker, because... Going up the mountain, you know, you it takes time because you're not just walking on a flat surface. You're going up. So if you're going up, you're automatically going to make less time than if it, the surface was flat. So going down, you're making really good time. So you can basically cut your time in half or even less than that. So I'm thinking, you know, we hiked up. You know, it was a good workout on the way up. Let's enjoy the way down by just cruising down, you know, just, just taking a quick like brisk jog basically all the way down it should only be like you know if you're jogging like 30 minutes and so i was like yeah let's just do that and jog christian was adamantly against the jogging idea because you never you never no because it's not safe (laughs) okay so you walked and you slid christians that shows why would you jog christian's idea of safe is basically walking not even putting like your foot in front of the other other nah, i sound weird but like so you putting get the like each foot basically yes, like careful. this the whole you wanted the whole to jog down. yeah but here's the thing jogging mm. you would have been putting more force down on no. whatever <laughs> surface you're touching so it would have dug in more. but if that if you slid that would cause more damage no not really oh yes no because <laughs> here's the thing the surfaces were not nearly as steep mm. As you were kind it of making them steep. out to be, you were worried. Uh, you, I don't even think you were worried about the steepness. You were just worried about the surface at at first, at first, because it, it was steep. in the beginning it was very rocky, and I was like, let's wait until we get to basically the flat, not flat as in it. It's not a decline because everything was basically a decline the way down, obviously. But the actual path was smooth, mm. basically. It was just gravel and kind of dirt and rocks and that kind of thing. And so I was like, you know, once we get to that point, we can just jog. And Christian was like, you must wait. You must, must wait. wait. Yeah. You must wait. And so, you know, I got tired of waiting. And so I basically just started walking at my normal pace. So I didn't even start jogging. I just started walking like as I normally would. And I looked back behind me and Christian was basically three, four hundred feet behind me walking very, very slowly. And it's dangerous. And you I tried just, walking, I was just slid. kind of. So you're welcome. You could have died. N- no, but you, you can answer. It's fine. No, I'll just no, keep talking. No, no, no. No, no go ahead. No, no, no. no it's fine. Here, no, I'll, I'll just hold it. No, just no, no, pick no. up the phone. It's <laughs> no. for the, it's for the class. Do it. Do it. It's for my mom on a podcast. Okay. <laughs> oh, you just I? hung up on your mom? You want me to actually call her right now? Dude, I don't care. Are you serious? No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Anyways, guys. So, the idea was, you know, I, we're just going to briskly head down this hill, this mountain. And Christian was adamantly against that. He kept saying, you must wait. And that's all he kept saying to me. And I got very concerned because it sounded like he just couldn't say anything else. But overall, you know, he, he made it down. But it would get to the point where I would just start walking. I never even really jogged seriously like at the beginning i jogged a bit saw christian behind me was like this isn't gonna work because i wasn't just gonna leave him on a mountain he had never really climbed before so i was like okay let me like stick around him but he just he i mean i have a picture of him i can probably put it up on the screen that shows him super far behind me and that's basically how he was the whole way down and i would basically wait for him to catch up to me start walking again and then just just walking i would still get you know way far ahead and then have to wait for him to come back 
which isn't too big a deal if it's just like I get it like a steep area you know you mm-hmm. want to be careful but the whole way down is it's it's a breeze I mean there are people biking the way down there are plenty of people jogging the way down it's not like this hard or impossible thing to do so that's what I was trying to do I thought it was really funny and Christian side of it is a lot more a lot more serious sorry I'm texting my mom she wants to know if driving plans if i should come get her tonight <laughs> wait at the airport <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's okay no i, I yeah. you know what I sh- you know what no no no, no listen no. we have lives too <laughs> listen it's been a long the moral day. of the story you know no no you're going down and you wanted to jog and you could have jogged i could have jogged but then that would have meant that i would have literally gotten to the bottom like a half an hour before no. you <laughs> yes yes <laughs> look that's you exactly want, what you tried happen. walking and you slid okay but you did too yeah but that's just like a missing your step like i didn't fall i didn't even trip it's no, just no, some no, of the no, gravel no, no. gave way it's not anything unsafe no. like I, th- I, I think, just saved your life i think you might have been a bit paranoid no. going up and down <laughs> No. Yeah. No. I think so. I, I just think, saved your life. No, dude. It's dangerous. Once he was climbing to the top, he was literally almost on all fours at one point, just like climbing. I'm just walking like normal. He's like this, trying to like brace himself. Because the wind, it's gonna push me off the cliff. It was pushing you towards the mountain. Anyways, and you try to walk. Look, it doesn't matter. The point is, I was going, I was taking my time, and I was enjoying the the hike that you wanted to take me. On. Right, right. But I'm just saying, sometimes in life, you just gotta, you just gotta go. Yeah. I was enjoying my walk way too much, way too much. I was having a good time. Some people asked me to take their picture. I, I gladly took their picture for them. Yeah, I think so they would have be able to do stopped that. you even if you were going. Because here's the thing. No, I wasn't you're walking, even you're jogging. Yeah, no. Yes. So wait, if you're walking, you're in a hurry? Because they see me. Oh, who's this, this charismatic, handsome young man that's mm. that's taking his time? He, and he's taking his time. He must be enjoying life. And I want him to take that picture. Walking, you're like any everybody walks. Yeah. If you walk, you're born. Okay, I'm but sorry. You, that's a what, fact. so what were you doing then? Huh? What were you doing then? I was hiking. You're hi- Okay, Christian was. I mean, no disrespect to grandmothers because grandmothers and elderly, I respect you guys. But Christian was walking like an OG Russian grandmother. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but no, well, they all I take mean, their time. if you're like a nimble twenty year old dude who's going on a hike i figured you might want to put in a little bit more effort no. than you shuffling. have to be safe you're shuffling you must That's, wait that was basically it no you have to wait you have to be patient we we're waiting yeah. for a firm surface a fir- you know, see he was waiting for it to be flat but the problem with that is it's not going to be flat until we get to the bottom exactly so, we can jog when we get to the bottom yeah that that was kind of missed the point but you know otherwise it was a good hike and i had a good time i'm glad had christian a had a too. good time and we got chick-fil-a afterwards too Yes, we got Chick Fil A. I paid for it, and basically, yeah. Well, anyways, basically, I would do it again, and yeah. I want to bring a walking stick next time. It, it would. I feel better if knowing I have that support. I'd probably walk faster. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember we were kind of talking about that before, yeah. like the benefits and stuff. Everyone's different, you know. People okay, so maybe good. for me, I might walk faster if I had a little support. If I, I might feel more safe and secure if I had a little stick. If you had a stick. Yeah. <laughs> A stick. So if you guys know any sticks yeah. out there or anything that I could use to like put in the ground, there's like, you can buy them on Amazon for like thirty six dollars. Uh, yeah. Thirty six dollars. Yeah. No, a compressible one. Yeah. One that goes like. Yeah, thirty six dollars. And I can put on my belt waist. Waist? I don't know. Because I can put like a chain. Yeah. Like a chain, may- like. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So let's see. It has to be red. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. Mm. With the thing on the bottom that helps it stay. Yeah. And a handle. The spike. Yeah. Of and course. The thing that loops around it so you can like Possibly. Yeah. You could probably modify that too. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm excited. Next time let's try it out. I've learned a few lessons. Adrian, you were right when you said to not it's best to eat on the way down. Yeah. So you don't have that weight on you. Yeah. It was really good and I was yeah. hungry. I, I waited to eat until we got to the top so that I wasn't eating the way up. Christian was already he busted out that bag of chips like almost momentarily. I mean it yeah. was it was pretty crazy. It was good and you didn't want any. Yeah. But I had a good time. I had a good hike. And yeah. I would do it again. I would go at Mount Diablo. Yeah, Mount Diablo I think is probably gonna be the next next hike. Next little excursion. But yeah, this was a nice warm up. Uh, Christian freaked out when I said warm up, but you know, it was, I think it's it was a nice warm up. It's a it's a hard it's a hard mountain. It, it's it's a warm up. It's, it's like, a hard warm up. I don't know about that. But yeah. 
If you want to hike Mission Peak, you can learn from our very uh, disorganized kind of story and advice. But this is going to be a shorter episode because I think, you know, Christian, he might have some stuff to do, like, momentarily. But <laughs> judging by it that doesn't matter. call or text, it's it, fine. It, it might matter. Did hey, family, family first. Oh, she's still texting. <laughs> this is a long text. Yeah, well, you know. Well, you know what? Speaking of long text, let's long go text. to the Bible. That was actually... Ooh, oh, whoa, hey, that was smooth. Whoa, I that respect was kinda, that. That yeah. was kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> whoa, okay. Let's uh, check it out. Let's see. Um, uh, we are going to... What book? John 14? John... 15? Uh-oh. Christian's like finding stuff out like on the podcast. It's funny. <laughs> You good, dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, All right. You guys will probably find, find out more about this next episode. John 15... What was it? 7. John 15, 7? Okay. One second. Okay, I'm there. John okay. chapter 15... Verse 7. Yeah. Verse 7. You got it? Yeah. It's in the red. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If ye abide in me, mm-hmm. and my words abide in you, right. ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Yeah, basically. So if you're saved, and um, if your if God's words yeah, abide I, in you, meaning if you that abide in God, you like you have with him, you dwell in him. essentially meaning that you're saved, that you read the Bible. Um, basically, you have that knowledge within you, and essentially, when you walk with God and you have His Word, it's it's this kind of thing where you always have something to fall back on. And you always have something to give mm-hmm. you some advice and knowledge. And so when you ask for things within the will of God and, and, and you ask for those things to be done, th- th- there's no real point for God to do otherwise, you know, than to do his right. will in your That's life. That's the so. key takeaway. Like when you pray for things, always pray. You, you know, I, I, even I've, I've done this too, where I pray for things that I just straight up want. But I'm like, God, like, like process any of this, like filtrate any of this and whatever falls according to your will. Yeah. If it is according to your will, Father... You know, let it be done. And then in the future, too, help me to have desires that do line up with your will, Father. So that I start to, I don't have to, you know, things can line up more naturally when it comes to what I want. You're wanting your your desires and your paths to make sure that they're not ever contrary to what God's will is. So when you pray, when you ask for things, make sure that you're asking for them. Like Christian said, Mm -hmm. in that, with that in mind, making sure that you're... um, not trying yeah. to go against the grain, I guess. Yeah, you know, God only has three answers. Yes, no, or not right now. And it's always in your best interest. Yes, in your best interest. Not right now. This is for you. Just you're not ready or this other person or thing or event isn't ready to receive it right now. Or no is no because no, no I meant yes, not right now, or no because I've got something better for you. Right, right. So uh, let's see. There you go. There's a verse of the day. That was a good one. That, that was, was a solid. good one. Wow, well, thank you, Andrew. Yeah. So well, we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. We hope that you enjoyed our very tired, redacted version of what well, was actually a pretty good day. We had fun. It was a hike. So, yeah, if you want to see more about that, you know, any pictures and stuff like that, that will be on our snow, Instagrams that are linked in the description. If you want to go on a hike with us. If you want to go on a hike with us, I mean, we'll take you on a hike. I'm we'll not take opposed you on a to hike. that. So. Yeah, we maybe we'll make a video about it too. Yeah, if you want to reach out, we'll take you on a hike. hike. And next time, I'm gonna bring my, or I'm gonna bring Leona with me. Oh, your lawn chair? Yeah, you oh, remember? God. Let's go. <laughs> this guy has a lawn chair. I want to sit on the top and eat Chick Fil A. So you would carry that lawn chair all the way yeah, to the top? Yeah, it's light. Leona's light. She's she's not a heavy, heavy person. I mean, fair enough person thing i was gonna say heavy girl but i don't want to say that it's like well it's not even it's a chair it's a chair well yeah but it's like she she's not a heavy per- thing in my life fair enough she's light yeah we can work with that cool well thank you guys for watching of course Ooh. all the socials will be in the description down below you the can website. go to the website anything like that if you want to watch these episodes YouTube? on youtube spotify all that Anchor, stuff in the Google. description google Anchor. and yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh if you've gotten to this point in the video we really appreciate you watching we will see you in the next episode hopefully this short episode was enough to suffice so thank you guys for watching we appreciate you enjoy your thanksgiving and oh yes thanksgiving we'll see you next time